Today I'm going to be giving the advice that I wish I'd received before studying mathematics at university. Let's dive straight into it. The first piece of advice that I'm going to give is don't be scared. I get a lot of messages from people saying that they're going to go study mathematics or even just other subjects at university and they're really worried to go, you know, they're worried about the experience and everything like that and that's why I've put it as the first point because it seems to be the most common message that I get from people and the reason I say that is it's a whole new adventure, yes studying maths sounds scary, it sounds scary to a lot of people that may not have learnt mathematics but it is such an incredible experience and I know that I am slightly biased in saying how my experience was but I had the best time and I wish I'd spent less time before university worrying so much about it and worrying about people that I'm going to meet and worrying about the modules because essentially when you get there you just take every day as it comes and you learn some incredible stuff and meet some really incredible people as well. So although it might seem scary going to study a really big and hard subject like mathematics, the first thing I would say is just don't be scared. You're going to have the best time and spend less time worrying leading up to going to study mathematics and have more time enjoying your summer before or just relaxing and embracing that you're going to be doing something really, really cool come September or October or depending on whenever you start your degree. Obviously there might be some of you who aren't scared and are really really excited and so that is fantastic, that is great, that point probably doesn't apply so much to you but the second point applies to everyone and that is embrace the variety of mathematics that's on offer. So when you first go to university you get exposed to a whole variety of different mathematics and the reason for that is because the university like you to specialise in different areas and that variety kind of increases into second year as well and then third year you can still have a variety but you have the opportunity to specialise if you want to. For me in first year I got exposed to a variety of different maths from statistics, pure maths, applied maths and I absolutely loved it. Yes, they were compulsory. I only had, I think, 20 credits out of 120 that were optional. The reason they make those modules compulsory is because you need that foundation in order to then progress to other modules as well. If you started by doing loads of statistics modules, then you kind of would just run out at the end and you wouldn't have that whole foundation that is required for a mathematics degree. So, I would say embrace the maths that's on offer. I'm thinking back to my first year and all of the different maths that I did and how cool every single aspect was. And so that's why I say embrace it because you get to learn some really, really cool maths in a variety of different fields. Now, point number three is on my approach to studying. The first thing that I'm gonna mention is when you have lectures, one of the big things that I found made a huge difference with understanding material is reviewing the content after the lecture. Say you have a lecture and you didn't really understand everything, or maybe you did really understand everything. What I would do after that is review the content and if I understood it, great. If I didn't, then I'd fill in the gaps that maybe I missed, maybe watch the lecture recording if your university has that, or ask for help from the lecturers because lecturers are there to help you, so don't be afraid to ask them for help. And that way you have like a solid foundation and you understand the material that's being taught and that then helps with example sheets. Now, in terms of example sheets, you would often find that in the material itself, so in the lectures, there's often a step-by-step -step process to solving a certain example. And with that, I would then make what are known as recipe cards. And the idea behind that is, say if a problem comes up, you know exactly what steps to take. So you'd look at your lecture material and say, okay, here's an example that follows this specific step. I'd create a recipe card for that, and then that would help me when solving example sheets. Those are the points that I would say in terms of the material itself. In terms of example problems, practice, practice, practice. I know that might sound cliche, but honestly, the more you practice, the better you will get. Now, you might find yourself in a position where you start doing the example sheet and you have no idea what you're doing. Hopefully that won't be the case. But what I found was when that was the case, it's because I didn't fully understand the course material and understand the examples in the course and in the lecture itself. And so back to the first points I made, making sure you review the material really helps with that. So it all, it's all kind of coupled together, really. You want to make sure you're reviewing the content because that really helps with the example sheets. Another thing to mention, 
figure out how you do example sheets best. I was very much someone who liked to just sit in my room and really enjoyed the intricacies of figuring out mathematical problems by myself, but I also liked the collaboration side as well. So I mixed up solving problems, solving example sheets with my friends and also by myself. If you're someone who has never really tried solving problems with other people, I'd encourage you to do that because sometimes I would be struggling really, really hard on a problem and then I'd ask my friend and they'd be like, oh, this is the way that I did it. So I would say to try find how you answer example sheets best. Maybe that is independently. I preferred that method or whether it's with your friends as well. If you are interested in how I did take notes and study and also revise for exams, there are plenty of videos on my YouTube channel and I'll link them in the description. I realise I don't want to talk too much in this video because this is generic advice, but if you want something more specific, I have videos on my channel going through them as well. Point number five is you are doing a maths degree. It might get hard at times and it's okay. That's to be expected. I don't know a single person who didn't study anything at university and didn't find it hard at times. That's just the joys of going and studying uh, advanced subjects. But my biggest piece of advice would be to ask for help. I spent a lot of time just struggling and, and trying to figure things out myself and thinking that it would eventually come to me and I would understand it. But honestly, there's so much power in behind asking lecturers for help and for their clarification on things. Don't get into the habit of just feeling isolated. There is a huge community in, specifically for maths, in the mathematics department where you can ask people, you've got tutorials, you've got lecturers, you have supporting staff, you have so many different resources. You also have libraries for books. So just don't be afraid to ask for help as well. Um, that was a really big thing that I noticed in my first year. I was too scared to ask for help. I thought I saw lecturers as really kind of intimidating people who've done really cool research and amazing in their fields, but they're just human beings and they are really, really nice, really passionate, and they love being asked questions. So if you're struggling on something, ask for help is a really, really big piece of advice. Now, the next point is enjoy. Honestly, I had the best time at university. And, you know, even with telling you all this advice that I wish I had known at the time, I still had the best time. I learned some incredible maths. I got to nerd out. I got to meet some really, really cool people. University experience itself was just phenomenal. And so my biggest piece of advice is enjoy. Go and immerse yourself in all of this really, really cool maths. Meet like-minded people. Learn from world leading researchers. Honestly, just enjoy. If I could go back and do a maths degree again, I would because I had the best time, I learned the best things, met the best people and it was just an incredible experience. So although I have mentioned things in this video that you might think, oh, you know, it's going to get hard, don't worry. You know, honestly, you'll have the best time. Just go and immerse yourself in, in absolutely everything and yeah, learn to enjoy the process. Those are my very quick pieces of advice to those of you that might be studying mathematics or are going on to study mathematics at university. I had the best time and I'm sure you will too. If any of you that follow my channel are going on to study mathematics or anything else at university this coming in the coming weeks or months, please let me know. Let me know in the comments. I love hearing from all of you and I love all of the comments that I get on this channel. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.